This is an overview of the post carousel by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, drag the post carousel into your Elementor widget. Let's go over the settings and see what this is about. Number of items is how many items you want to show in each screen resolution. This field is responsive, so you can determine different amount of items in different screen resolutions. Autoplay is to turn autoplay on or off, so you can just toggle this on or off, and now it won't autoplay. Autoplay hover pause means that when you hover over the carousel, the carousel won't autoplay anymore. Margin between items is for the spacing between the items. So for example, I can change this to 50 and the space will be a lot bigger. Autoplay timeout means how long it takes for it to autoplay between each intervention. Transition speed is for the speed of the transition. Let's just change this to three seconds just so you can see how that looks. Awesome. The read more text is for the text inside the button. So you can change this to any string you want or to your language, for example. Inside of layout, we have a lot of settings over here. So for example, we can change the layout and now it's an overlay layout. And only when you overlay over the images, it will show under overlap is a small overlap from beneath. Partial overlay is a partial overlay. Usually you'll want to make the image higher with this effect or turn parts off. Reveal from bottom is just a nice hover effect when it's revealing from the bottom. And side by side is also a nice effect. It splits the tile into one half image and one half content. We can decide to turn on and off all of these settings. So for example, I can turn on and off the arrows right here. I can do the same for the navigation dots. And I can turn on or off different parts of the carousel. So title, intro, date, and button. Let's jump into nav arrows. Over here, we can select the icons for the arrow navigation. And under post query, you can filter your posts in many different kinds of types. You can show only one type of term. You can exclude post. You can decide how many posts you want to show and the ordering. For advanced users, you can also use query ID. We have a different tutorial for this. Let's jump into style. And over here, we can determine the image height. So you can see how nicely this adapts without needing to do anything special. Content padding is for the padding inside of the content area. So I can push this up if I want and it will change the padding. Background color for the right part or the content part. Item border, so we can add a border for the items. Change the border width, change the border color if you want. And we can also add border radius to round the corners of the items. Inside of title, we have an option to change the color, the typography and the spacing. The same is for text and date. I'll just show date as an example. So I can change this to whatever color I want. And of course I can make it maybe smaller using typography if I want. And I can also style it in, it, in italic format. Everything that you're used to using with Elementor. Inside of the button, we can change the button padding, the radius to make it rounded all the colors we can space it out by moving the button spacing add border and over here we have an option to make the button full width instead of inline which is pretty useful nav arrows is for the position of the arrows so we can position them on the x the x x means horizontal and y axis so over here is the y axis let's Push this down to the middle, looking good. And nav arrow radius. This is when the arrow has a background. So let's just add a small subtle background for the arrows. And now I can round the arrow so you can see the difference. You can change the arrow size, the icon size, the background size, which is this gray background over here. 
and everything else. The dots as well, you can change all of the different settings, spacing, space between if you want to space this, and you can align them to wherever you want, maybe get a different design. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.